next honorable mention, guys. All right, next honorable mention. Doesn't even have to be big conversation, you know what I'm saying? Uh, significant move made, all right? Yeah. Bye-bye to Joey Sly and welcome Brandon McN- uh, McManus. Mm-hmm. Guys, this this right here is, um, I mean, it speaks for itself. Joey Sly, uh, we've talked about it. Joey Sly got the strength in his leg. He can hit 50 yarders. Wow, like just crushing them things. But when it comes to extra points and um, field goals, 40 yards, the stuff, the shit that he's supposed to make. Can't do it. He just, where the hell does he go, guys? Where does he go? (laughs) And honestly, we can even talk about, um, we can even talk about the long snapper. Like you may, I know a lot when, it's always on the kicker when they miss, but they never talk about the the snap or um, the long snapper or what they've done or the hold for the kick, you know. And we literally got rid of our uh, long snapper in the middle of the season because apparently he was tripping. He he was messing up the kick. He was messing up the kick. And that was just- was on his fault. It was his fault. We got rid of Cheeseman. Yeah. And it sucks is because we <laughs> traded up. We traded up. Man. Yes. We're on a trip, baby. <laughs> we traded up to get this special, special teamer. Like, like you get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so guys, so we, um, so this is like t- two things. We got a new kicker and we got a new long snapper. Was it Tyler Orr? Is that... I think I, I never put it down, but it's, I think it's I, Tyler Orr. Yeah, Tyler Ott. Ott. My apologies. Tyler Ott. Yeah. Guys, tell me uh, how significant is this to, for you guys? Yeah, I did I, I, I talked to Bill yesterday. I didn't I didn't even know we were in the market, even though I agree with you about Joey Sly, but I, I didn't know we were looking, you know. Um shout out to Tina. Tina Winter, diehard Broncos fan, said she she was a fan of McManus. Um, so, I mean, I'm excited about it. I heard he's like elite, what, within 40, I think it is, or something like that, or, you know, he's, yeah, yeah, 50. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what he brings to the table, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not too excited about this move. Um, Because if you look at last year's stats, and I got to shout Jack for giving us some stats last night. I just wasn't able to put them into the into it. So Joey Sly hit on 86% of his field goals, and Brandon McManus hit on 81% of his field goals. Yeah, 81, 81.4. Well, I got yeah. it right here. So that part doesn't – I don't love that. Now, McManus is, as, as Sean just said, a way more like almost automatic from 50 and below. But my concern is the league is requiring you to make – 50 yarders like they used to be 45 yarders. Like people used to be like 45 to 50. It's like, ah, let's hope he can make it. And now I'm at the point where I think 50 to 55, I'm expecting two of three going through that, right. that you've got guys. I mean, because you've got guys kicking 57, 58 yard field goals at the end of the game to win it, you know, it's, and, and that's not what this guy can do now, how often. And, and, you know, ultimately if you, if you're giving us what we need most often, is that more important? Probably. But and so I don't hate the, the the signing, but I'm this is what I'm just kind of like, eh, I'll wait and see on this. What you got? Yeah, uh, yeah I, I man, uh, I ain't gonna drag this out because I, I don't like us talking about kickers, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna say, man, I, I'm with you, Will, on this one. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Um, he's played 161 games, including four post. Um, in his career, what's his name? How you say it? McManus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Brandon. It, it is, is two is is two fifty three for three eleven on field goal attempts. Like you said, eighty one percent, and including a career long sixty one yard field goal. Uh, it says he is thirty uh, three hundred twelve for three twenty one, ninety seven percent on point after attempts. Yeah. So I mean, it's definitely better than Joey Sly. Joey Sly had a big leg but terrible accuracy. Um. But yeah, I, I'm like you will. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's definitely an improvement, but I'm not really like so excited. I mean, but what 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 team really can get a Justin Tucker? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we just got to deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah. I, 
who knows? You know, people. There's kickers that do terrible at this home, and then they go to another home and they ball out. You know, who was the kicker that we had? Um, oh, damn it. Huh? Dustin Hopkins. Yeah, he went. He he, he played he terrible for us. He goes somewhere else and he has a successful career. So hopefully this guy, you know, but I don't want to drag this out. He's a kicker. <laughs> you got one job to do. You better do it right. That's all I know. <laughs> I think so. Other than this, so this position, long snapper. I uh, this is like the position. I think you need to be absolutely perfect. Then, like one of the, like you know, what I'm saying, like I don't think there's it, there's a lot of room to be okay. Like mm-hmm. you, you should absolutely be perfect in this position. Like Sean, remember in high school how the kicker and a punter would go to another field mm. during football and, and <laughs> legit that was all they did all they, all did. they did was right. that you know what i'm saying so if you're spending hours doing just that you you better know how the grass feels like you better know how oh, like man. the wind like how the wind adjustments that you need to take and everything like that like to me it that if it's anything like how high school was I, for the professionals you got to be on top of it you, you need to be professional professional <laughs> like I, well, I don't got more well, well, well I was I I, more well, than well, saying it in the, in sorry, the NFL, I would say in the NFL they got more focus they get their own bubble where they're kicking and doing their old special team stuff and they got coaches on top of coaches we had like one guy that would stand over there and be like all right you made it kick another one you know what i mean yeah. and we'd be looking over there for the other field like y'all sorry son of a- <laughs> while we doing work but they have guys out there that are holding that are catching that are throwing the ball all you have to do is focus your plant foot and go to work on kicking so yeah. again I put too much into the kicking but they don't have any excuse well, well I, I will say this, and I'm and I'm uh, probably being nice to a kicker. Um, I'm I think that they do work their butts off, I, and I'm not saying every kicker in the NFL, but I do feel like they do work their butt off. But it's the fact of that they have more pressure than a quarterback in the NFL in the fourth quarter. Yeah, kickers when it comes to that game winning drive and, and they got to make a kick, it's more pressure on a kicker than it is more of a quarterback. Because when a quarterback messes up and if it's a franchise guy, he throws a pick or something, he know he's got a job tomorrow. When it comes to a kicker, it's more pressure for a kicker because if he misses it, he knows that, hey, I might be going home. So I understand exactly what y'all saying. And I don't want to drag this out because it's a damn kicker. It's like, yo, do your job. But at the same time, I feel the pressure because you got that many people looking at you and you know, that if we lose this game, everybody gonna be blaming on him. You feel what I'm saying? So uh I don't wanna drag it out. Kick it, just do your damn job, but I feel your pressure, homie. I feel your pressure. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you what do you thinking, bro? Uh yeah, yeah. They're just, you know, I don't I don't hate the move, but I don't love the move. We'll we'll just, yeah. we'll just kind of wait and see on this one. Absolutely. All right, man. 